Hello and welcome to Paris Set Me Free photo tutorials. Now as you can see it was a rather grey day as I was doing this tour which I'll show you where it was. Here's uh, I don't know if you know, well have, first of all have a look at this guy. Do you know this guy? It's a Saint, Saint Denis, Saint Denis holding his head in his hands. I mean yes his head in his hands and not at all on his shoulders. So it's, uh, it's a very sweet little Parisian square somewhere in deepest darkest Paris and uh, let me sh can you see anything strange about this photograph that's my first question my second question is do you know where it is and let me show you here's our map of Paris I'm going to zoom in a little bit there we are you see Paris there's the periphery I'm zooming in zooming in can you see where I'm heading towards the north of Paris uh, you guessed it we're in a Montmartre look there's a Basilique de, uh, du Sacré-Cœur so Sacré Coeur and we're almost at maximum there. Okay, so there's there's Sacré Coeur there. If you know anything about Paris, you'll know that as you walk along here, it's a little square full of artists. Let's go on to the um the the satellite picture. There's Sacré Coeur. You walk on along here, this square is full of artists and cafes, which is very nice and then coming down, following me down this way, down uh, Rue Norvin you go past what looks like a, a country farm <laughs> almost which is now apartments I think and you get to a very sweet little square which is here so I'm just going to zoom in on that a little bit that's where the guy with the, the statue with his head in his hands is and I think if we go back to the the original picture here you see these houses in the background I think those are in fact these. They're either these or these or these. I, I'm not quite sure which. So as you s as you can see, zooming in there, um, I was in here and the guy with the statue is, I think he's there. I think that's him there. Alright, so that's where we are, in the north of Paris at Montmartre. And I asked you a uh, minute ago if you could see anything strange about this photograph. Well, <laughs> there certainly is. There's a guy standing on the roof here, which is kind of funny. Uh, so this was actually an attempt after having having seen the shot to try and get the guy with the head in his uh, hands in the same shot as this but you can see the result this guy's way off to the right there's a kind of tree thing in the middle which so the composition's gone uh, awry there and the the funny thing about this photograph the guy standing on the roof just making a phone call i think the the absurdity of that is kind of lost so i went with something more like this so there he is. Now, got a, the edge of a lamppost there, a big lump of tree, and the edge of this tree, which you can uh, you can see again here. And uh, unfortunately, this doesn't really do it for me because the, I wanted to really concentrate on this the humorous aspect of this guy standing making a phone call on the roof, <laughs> the the trap door, <laughs> the skylight open there, and the tree, and the bush. You could say that it frames it, but at the same time, it wasn't it wasn't quite doing it for me. Here's uh, another shot that I took, and I must admit I took quite a few. And I think this is the one I went with in the end. Uh, I was looking, as always, looking for frames, and I thought, okay, well, let's take the edge of this as to frame the left hand side, and well there wasn't anything really here so I think I maybe chopped the chimneys and such like and I wanted to focus on the absolutely wonderful shades and contrasts of a typical Parisian roof here Parisian roofs are absolutely wonderful I'm a, I'm a big fan there's normally loads and loads of chimney pots even though th I think theoretically that they're not you're not allowed to use any m them anymore there's this sort of slaty stuff it's either slate or grey slate or metal sort of metal stuff and you often have these strange chimney pot air vent things coming up here. You see that one with bits of rust dripping down there. Uh, there's chimney pots there, there's chimney pots there, there's chimney pots there. So let's see what I did with it in the end. That's the final result. You can see I more or less cropped it as I, as I said. Really focusing on... The guy is absolutely obvious in this picture. And these chimney pots frame it on this side with I've even managed to get a bit of wall in there which complements the bit of wall on the left there both both capped by their re their respective chimney pots so comparing that back you see I did manage to get that coherence it's not so obvious there that that wall there could be 
a counter balance to this wall here but there it is and I chopped off a bit of the sky as well and I chopped off a bit of this foliage I guess with roofs you have this idea that the most interesting point is where roofs meet the sky and you have all the jagged horizon with the chimney pots and so on so so that's something to emphasize and one more way of emphasizing that amazingly varied and wonderful skyline is by dragging the photograph out a bit to the edges and chopping bits off the bottom and the top. I chopped almost all of the sky off because this doesn't really do anything at all and I chopped a bit of this off. If you use this as a, a point of reference, this little air vent here, you can see that I've gone almost just up to the bottom of it but left it in because it's interesting and there's another one there. Plus you've still got some of the foliage. You can also probably see that I've played around as well as making the the photograph much much snappier and harder hitting I've also played around a little bit and put in a fantasy rainbow effect on this wall here and this wall here and the chimney pots as well have got their very own uh, rainbow effect as opposed to the the usual and rather dull in this case uh, red chimney pots so that's what I've done with that I'm pretty pleased with it. Um, I don't don't do enough um, roof shots in Paris. I think I've got all to do a few more, and some of them are absolutely marvellous. I've just been reading a book by someone called I think it's Sarah Turnbull called Almost French, and it's a really great book. It's one of those books which talks about an experience that someone has of living in Paris, but it's not one of these sort of twee, slightly insulting books of oh aren't the French funny stroke weird it's it's much more a much more human point of view uh, of someone who really appreciates France but but still struggles to come over to overcome um, cultural differences she's an Aussie so I've just been reading that and on to get back to the point on the front cover of the edition of the book that I've got is a picture of someone I, I maybe it's her hope it's her looking out over a hole that she smashed in her wall in order to have a window and the vista she has is an enormous range of Parisian higgledy-piggledy Parisian roofs and chimney pots and I'd love to um, to know her and be invited to that apartment if she still has it and take take that very same picture but and then uh, do it in my style so that's what I've done uh, you can see that in the original this was actually quite small this the part I chopped was was uh, quite a small part, probably a third of the entire picture, or at least only a half. So there, there's a good argument for having as high resolution as you can. Even though these days sometimes the resolution seems ridiculously high, that's that's the situation in which uh, it counts. You you take a bigger, a wider shot because you never really know what the best composition is going to be. That's my Paris chimney shot shot for today. Hope you like that one. I'm quite fond of this one, I must admit. Look out for chimneys. Keep your eyes up as you're walking along. Always look up and you'll find some amazingly wonderful skylines. Cityscapes and in particular skylines, which is one of Paris's uh, very absolute strong points. Thanks for visiting. See a higher quality version of this as ever on the blog, parissetmefree.blogspot.com. Visit the site parissetmefree.com and see you next time in Paris. Bye bye. Depuis que je suis à Paris, le jour et la nuit, je suis gris. J'ai compris la douceur de vivre. Je suis fou de joie, je suis ivre. Depuis que je suis à Paris.